You're watching the Fantasy Football Show Clips Channel. Cut up versions of the show, the main YouTube channel, the Fantasy Football Show. Link in the description. And this clip is about Darren Waller. Subscribe if you're new. Drop a comment below about Waller in 2022 and what you think. Here's the clip. They both cracked the list for the reasons of underperforming, but Waller crapped the bed for you. Whether it was injury or not, doesn't matter. He crapped the bed for you because if you drafted him, which I advised against if he was too high, you drafted him at like late second to early third round, which is never advisable for tight ends because you always want to find the next Waller. Waller was my number one breakout tight end his breakout year. So was Hawkinson. And we went dumpster diving for the next breakout tight end in 2022. And credit to the guy that called me out early on in the offseason that said, hey, what do you think about Fryermuth? Do you guys remember that? And I'm like, Fryermuth? What do I think about Fryermuth? Nothing. I don't think anything about Fryermuth. And we la- I laughed, and, and Fryermuth became one of my favorite up-and-coming tight ends. So sometimes Smitty's not on somebody right away. Sometimes they grow on me. There's no shame in changing your mind. There's no shame in being wrong. There's no shame in someone else being better than you at calling out one individual player. We're looking at Waller dropping to potentially round five, according to this data and according to the massive amount of negative comments I got about my Waller pick at 4.9. So, um, (laughs) I, I don't know about you guys, but I don't feel any risk at all drafting Waller in the fifth round because, again, I apparently drafted him too early. I got a lot of comments about this this pick at 4.9. Waller at 5.4, uh, 5.6, 5.9, 5.8 is is a steal. And and you know my thinking on this. What, what kind of value are we getting on Waller in in round five range? Baked, 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 baked in, boys. We're talking about baked in value, buddies. We're talking about baked in value. For, for Darren Waller in the fifth round. Everybody, everybody and their mother that drafted Waller in the at the top of round three or at the end of round two got burned. Got burned. They will not be back. They will not. That's like getting a hair in your food at Chipotle or wherever you're going to eat. You will not go back to that restaurant. You pull a hair out of your bowl. You're not finishing the bowl. You're not finishing the bull. That means that if you own him in Dynasty, you're wanting to get rid of him. So buy him in Dynasty at what's equating to probably in Dynasty, probably sixth or seventh round value. If you can get away with getting Waller at round five for Waller in, in redraft, you could certainly he's he's older than Kittle. He's not a young guy. He got his he got a jump on his career late after battling a, a bunch of uh, uh, addiction and stuff like that. And he got his life together. Kudos to him. Uh, love his story. Love Waller. I played in a league with him. He's a, he's an amazing dude. Uh, I appreciate everything about him. I like Waller a lot as a person. As a person, he's amazing. As a, as a role model, he's done a lot of great things. For, for He's always trying to, to, to generate charity stuff and, and, and giving back and motivating people and, and talking about addiction and things like that. So I love Waller's story. I love his attitude. I love his tenacity. I love his hard work. And I believe he can get healthy and stay healthy for another year or two, maybe two or three, but we'll call it one year or two. That's a great opportunity in Dynasty to go get a guy that can impact you for two years. Two years is a long time. If he's got an ADP that's almost still questionable because some people are like yeah Waller in the fifth isn't bad there's a couple comments here Waller in the fifth isn't bad in redraft that tells me you could you could probably get him in the sixth or seventh round in in dynasty probably sixth round at least I'm willing to do that look if you want to win your dynasty league everybody can't be 21 and a half years old and a lot of people play that way everybody as soon as they hit 24 years old they gotta get rid of them it's dynasty but you running backs are they die at 26 now okay so understandable with running backs but with wide receivers with with quarterbacks with whatever you got to take advantage of some of the older player values because it takes a village to win and if you keep trying to buy and stockpile 21 and a half year old players only 
And you've got no now players. You've got no older veterans that, you know, you don't go after a Hopkins, which, you know, let's put a Hopkins on here. I don't care if he's older. He's somebody we need to talk about given uh, the potential ADP versus the return on investment. And so Hopkins needs to be on this list as well. I don't even know if we'll get to all these. But Waller, you need some now potential sometimes to win. You need now potential to win. If you keep buying 21-year-olds, you keep trading out your players to try and stay as young as possible, you'll always be fighting for second place. Congratulations, you'll have a very good team. It'll never be the great team. You have to have some now players as well. There's a lot of potential opportunity to better your squad, win that bag, get your bread, take care of your mentals, get your chickens in order, everything. There's potential for you to do all that with the assistance of a veteran like Waller or Hopkins or even maybe Mike Thomas and keep on the lookout for my boy McLaurin in terms of of the future dynasty value. Waller, I'm all in. Six round ADP type trade value or startup value in dynasty. Waller, fifth round ADP in redraft. 100% Smitty approved, pal. Just been Smitty approved. So now we will get to um, the next player. This is the Fantasy Football Show. Pick a 